February nights are chilly in Georgia, but the night of February 20th, 2020, seemed much colder. Not from the outside temperature, but knowing a 17-year-old girl walked out of her family's back door, disappearing into the abyss, leaving only one small footprint in the mud. This is Julia Mann's story through the eyes of strangers. Julia, her mother Terry, and her little sister were in the process of relocating from Dunwoody to Watkinsville, Georgia. In order for Julia to start at the beginning of the second semester at her new school, she had to move to Wintersville, which is also in the same county, to stay with her grandparents. But after a few weeks, she moved to her family's new home in Watkinsville. Her grandparents were staying with her until her mother was able to make the move. She had just registered for senior classes for the next year, was doing really well in school, and was making a lot of friends. She had been organizing her new room and was excited for us to join her. Things were going very well for her, her mother Terry has stated. A few days prior to that, the night that would change the future days to come, Julia had been on a family vacation and had a wonderful time and seemed quite happy. On the morning of February 20th, 2020, Julia went to school like any other ordinary day. On that day, her friend had said she seemed happier and very giggly at school, which was different than her usual self. Later that evening, Julia's grandfather said he seen her around 10 o'clock p.m. before going to bed. When he woke the next morning, Julia was gone. He immediately called 911, and there was no sign of forced entry into the house, nor any signs of a struggle, and no trace of Julia. The only sign she left was a footprint in the mud outside of the home. The level of danger here is grave, said Deputy Wenz of the Okani Sheriff's Department. This is a 17-year-old girl who left home with no resources to speak of. Sheriff deputies, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, and the FBI have worked together to determine Julia left the house with no money, credit cards, or a change of clothes. Almost nothing was missing from Julia's closet, her dresser, or the bathroom. She had little or no money and also left her debit card, insurance card, and some gift cards at home. The only thing that was missing was a medium-sized black backpack along with her MacBook and her iPhone. She did not take her only computer charger and also left a phone charger and portable battery in her bedroom. It has been stated her phone pinged at 5.11 a.m., then either powered down or was turned off on the morning of February 21st. The ping was within a three-mile radius of her home near the cell tower on Daniels Bridge Road. Both her phone and her computer have been off since she's disappeared. There has been no sign of her anywhere, no digital footprint or anything. She's vanished, but all indications is that she left her home alone and on her own accord. Sheriff Barry said from the moment Julia was reported missing, authorities used a helicopter from the Georgia State Patrol to look for her and have conducted ground searches and canine searches in the weeks that had followed. There were no hits of any kind, the sheriff has stated. The GBI, FBI, and the Georgia State Patrol searched with helicopters and have crossed state lines looking for her, but have found nothing. Nothing in the investigation has turned up any reason to suspect foul play or that she was taken against her will. However, as time goes by, the sheriff's office is concerned that she may be in harm's way. The family has been living this nightmare since February, and now with the coronavirus, everything has stalled and it's just a scary time out, especially when you have a child that has disappeared into thin air.
Julia is 5'3", about 100 pounds, has several ear piercings, and might possibly be wearing clear rimmed glasses and a hat. She usually wears contacts, but her contacts for the following day were still in her room. Her hair is dark blonde, but the color or style may have changed. She does not have a car or a license, only a learner's permit. Julia has ran away three times in the past, but only for a short period of time. She always has returned in a couple of days. Her mother has made many Facebook posts begging her daughter, if she is reading her posts, to please call her. Terry has said to Julia, Julia, if you can read this, please know how much we love you and we miss you every second of the day. Julia, please know we would always welcome you home with open arms, no matter what has happened. We are not mad at you. You are in no trouble. We love you so much and would do anything in the world for you, Julia. The family had no reason to think anything was wrong or that she would suddenly disappear overnight. Her mother is completely devastated by her disappearance. She just wants to know if her daughter's okay. If Julia was a teenager sneaking out for a little while to meet friends, she would have returned back home. Julia is 5'3 and weighs around 100 pounds. She has blue eyes and dark blonde hair, but could have colored her hair at this point. Julia was last seen by her grandfather at her home in the area of Rocky Branch Road in Watkinsville. Julia's mother believes she was wearing a lightweight puffer black jacket and blue two-toned vans, which are the only shoes missing from her room. Julia is a gamer and enjoyed playing online role-playing video games. Wizard 101 and Dragon Games are a few of her favorites. If she intentionally left, why not take some of her clothes? Her charger, for her phone, her laptop, and money. No credit cards? This case is so out of balance. Julia's family needs answers no matter how disturbing they may be. Anyone with information on Julia's whereabouts is asked to contact the County Sheriff's Office at 706-769-3945. There is a $20,000 reward for her return. Subscribe to The Missing Truth for notifications on further updates of Julia and like and follow our Facebook page. <laughs>